My name is Christoph. I'm here with uh, Dr. Zade, and I'm about to undergo a septoplasty and sinus surgery due to the fact that I've got very bad sinus congestion. It was causing me to get sick and just not being able to breathe well. And based upon my research, I found that Dr. Zade is an excellent candidate as a doctor to help me with this. So I'm hoping from the surgery that um, my quality of life has improved. Obviously, I'll be able to breathe better right now. I'm stuffed like you can see. So here I am and I'm about to go in the operating room. So this, this gentleman has chronic sinusitis and has seen a few other ENTs in the community and was referred to me for sinus surgery, and so he's here for that. And what I'm doing right now is I'm doing image-guided surgery, so I'm actually mapping out his entire face and skeletal bones on the computer screen here. And the goal is to basically get a, a GPS guidance as to where we are during the surgery. So, the whole, so basically, as I'm operating, I know exactly where I am in three different dimensions. And this really gives you a more complete surgery, but also gives sa increased safety as well. I'm right now, I'm looking at the left inside the left nostril, you can see the septum and the turbinate here, which means you've got a very large turbinate that's obscuring the view of the nasal cavity, so we shrink that down so we can breathe better. There's a small polyp that we've seen before. When we look inside, you see right there is a small polyp right there. This, this is a small polyp that we're going to remove, basically. This is one of the, reasons, this is one of the things that's blocking the sinus opening. So we just finished the surgery on our patient and everything went fantastic. He's in a recovery room, uh, waking up as we speak. Everything went terrific. And Jeremy had a lot of infection everywhere and polyps. We removed a lot of polyps from all these different various sinuses. In addition, we were able to straighten the septum and reduce the turbinates. So now he'll breathe much more clearly. His nose is going to be wide, wide open and patent. And hopefully he will not get any more sinus infections. Or if he does, they'll recover very quickly by themselves. Uh, he's going to be home in about 45 minutes an hour. He can probably resume his normal activities in two to three days and go back to work in about five or six days. He's going to be a happy camper.